Now on this Suburban 15, it's normal bolt on both sides. I think on one side, on some of the real old ones, might be a left-handed threaded bolt. So you got to try to take your tires off, and it doesn't loosen up. Make sure you're going the right way, so you don't snap the bolt off in there. All you got to do is take that cup off. Then there's a nut that comes off. And then you got this washer and there's a pin goes through there. So you just screw the nut off and this outside washer will come off. It's just got a slot in it for a pin. That's just to keep the wheel bearing to be able to spin all this and spin the nut loose. Then you take that pin out and then there'll be a washer. Trust me, that washer there at the end comes off. Um, when you go to put this back together, just snug it up. It's not like a wheel bearing on an old car where you had to set preloader on. You just want to get up there close. Don't put no, you don't want it to rotate hard because you're smashing it. You just want it to take the play up so it doesn't wobble around, if that makes sense. Holding it flush back there to here. It's three inches. Okay, so the hub's three inches long. And it's a three quarter hole. Just in case you're wondering. It's hard for me to get the. Anyway, it's a three quarter inch hole and three inches. Flat washer, pen. Then the nut with the slots. All that does, like I say, is locks it so it can't spin and loosen the nut. And then tighten the nut up. See, I tighten that down. Now I got resistance turning the wheel. So to me, that's too tight. I'll back it off a little bit. The other thing I've always learned is always stop your last movement in the tightening position. Or that helps or hurts or matter matters, I don't know. So I have just a wee little bit of play. If I wanted to, I could sit there and inch that along and try to get rid of that play. But I don't care about the play. 